Tell her my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream. Tell her my dream is to live my dream. And he'll the most I ain't the scheme when me see him. Tell her my goal, my goal, my goal. All of my rules is to live my goal. Nobody no fi fly over me dead. Look at me now, where them keep me less. Good morning. Put me in a back like a rectangle. Me have to come on and come ball out and go on. I feel good. More time when I feel good, you have to share it to the world. Or sometimes I don't have to share it to the world, but I have to share it to the world. How the feeling? Yeah, I'm bad. How are you doing this morning? Jesus Christ, wicked Tina, how am I here this morning? Done me done it there, you know. Paper. Just I bring my daughter to work a while ago. And I look for my daughter. And I see which part my daughter I come from. My daughter I come from far. And I have to remind her how my proud her. Look at Richard, lad. More time I have to just stop where I do and just admire your youth them. I remember how far you carry them from to wish by them they know. And you must feel proud of yourself. See? I look at my pit and I feel proud in myself as a man. If you don't know, say, I want my balls that right there. So. And my pit me that. See? I know I'm there and watch our life transition and reach which part it reach right now. See? Member say, not where she have shit not come easy. She work hard. And she very deserving. That's why as parents, you can't give up on your youth them. And you have to always there to push them. You know, anything at all where them do. Because I guess what? More time the youth them know where they want, you know. But all them need a little push. A little guidance, you know. And I tell you, I remember when my daughter got Queens. She took up French. See? My daughter took up French. And she had the top student in the French class. And then when I looked, she goes to the mama and said, I don't need no more French. I'm done with it. French teacher see her and say, You're dead. What have you done with my French class? I remember, you know. One report there me miss from my daughter got Queens. One. And I seven years my daughter do up there. I got a report there till the teacher them say, where may I have that come from? Because I be a good them officer about my pit me. And I feel good for know them thing there. Zane? My daughter got Queens and she said she want to apply for the head girl position. Dr. B, how you be? She said she want to apply for the head girl position, see? And she goes to the man and apply for it. I don't know what go on. Like she get a fight in her life. A deputy head girl she end up and get. Even though I'm still proud. And just know that she deserving to be the head girl because she has everything what it takes to be the head girl. My daughter is a leader. She never get it. And she take it to heart and vex, but I have to do the fear and come and say, Come in, my pitney. You're deserving. Zane? Hold her and hug her up and console her and I say, Yo, them have a thing with him. Because remember, you know, if you be a head girl at a top school or a head boy at a top school, you have to go through a course of training. Because remember, you know, you are like the teacher and the principal and the dean and the whole of them something there. So, you have to lead. So she goes to the man. Daddy, you have a thing on him, Toastmaster. Toastmaster, where you go to the man? Where you name? Young Shanshana, where you want him? You know, you may talk about my daughter. Where you know, lock your face and listen where you talk about my picnic. 
Amen. But say now, when I go to Bam, she said that the Toastmaster, I go to Bam and say, All right, well, I got a Toastmaster. So I reach up a Toastmaster, the other two head girl them. No family member never did it for them. I'm sit down there and I watch my daughter give one big speech. And I say, Look, I'm a picnic. I'm ball over my pitney, you know. I see me a ball over my pitney, you know. A ball over my pitney and I go on, you know. Come here, I say, look for my pitney up the stuff. Big speech. And I go on. I'm proud and frightened. You know, I see me a go on over my pitney. And I say, what's my pitney? And I ball over her. Bam, my daughter goes to Bam. I left Queens now. Right up her transcript. So she won't go to University of Florida. Remember, say, Deputy Head Girl is a Queens, you know. All Queens know me pitney, you know. Yo, one well, woman, I don't know if I hate the woman hate pitney or me, the woman hate her, I don't know how I go on in life. When my daughter goes to the and ask about the transcript, them just say, they don't have no record of my daughter. Oh, you finna know my pitney up a Queens. My daughter take it to heart again. I don't have to take it to heart again and I say, Jesus Christ, look how I don't have to foreign. I don't have to foreign. And she did it and ball and broke down and I said, come here, my pitney will go up again. I love you, go on over her. The last said, hold it. She goes to the man, reach up her way. When she reach up her way, she go on up her way and I do her thing up her way. One next up, not be again where I remember what. But I want something where one, you have to vote and you have to go on. Remember, say about four or five people. I remember how much people vote for her. I remember, say the, the remarks. The remarks, them when some of the people them pass, oh, she go on like she better than people, so they never vote for her. And she take it to heart again, break down. And I mean, they're the fair again, and I say, I want to take my picnic. Come in. You have to remember saying I saw it go. Strongest soldier always get the hardest fight. Me have to tell you I hold it with her. All of the high water them knows not everything. Cause she a ball along the whole place and I say yo, me no say yo, me this and me that. Daddy, what me do wrong in her life and a ball. I hold it. And when I go to the look for my picnic and now and I say blood clear, look for my jacket. Look for my jacket. In a jacket. Big thing. I see the little girl come out of her business and have her big work. And I go out with her thing. And I feel proud for just no say. How far she has come from. Nobody never take nothing and give her and say, Well, this guy, your father, name Richie Feelings. Never that, you know. Zane, remember, you know. Come here with a tell people, people them say, yo, you're deserving, you know. Zane, you're deserving. I remember when I come and I talk about my youth, I don't talk for Brad for nobody. I just talk about how I youth and how my youth, I'm proud of how my youth are going. You understand? Enough time I hear some girl open their mouth and talk about, um, member say you have daughter, and member say this, and member say that. I laugh. You can remember say, if my daughter there with a man and the man hurt her or the man broke her heart, what do you think I'm going to do? Done it her? I'm going to do the fear the same way. I'm going to say, I'm my daughter because I'm going to be my pitney. I'm going to always be my pitney. You understand? I don't know sometimes when time some people are ignorant or when time some people hurt. They talk some things for hurt your back. You see me? Because some people throw some blow more time and them say something. One time a girl did pass a remark about my pitney, you know. And the girl passed a remark about my pitney and I just laugh. And I did back with that girl left for life. Because you can't say things about my pitney. Regardless of what I have, don't talk about my pitney, girl. Because you know, say, alright, I said, earth in the talk about my pitney. Don't do it! But. I just said, I feel good for some pitney in her jacket. Jacket in her jacket. And I go out with her something. 
You may have to just come on and tell them, you say, don't give up on your youth, them. No, for how you have no youth, them, man. How you deal with the youth, them, you don't expect the youth, them, to come back and no member. How you do? You see me? You don't have to remember, say, you don't have to tell the youth, them, say, Trust the process. You don't have to trust the process when you come on to the youth. Them. Because here you can do You can rush time and you can get back time. So, all of who are rushed for the youth, them get big. Then, when the youth them get big, you don't have to them be still small. But I don't just trust the process. You hear? We have to just trust the process and make the youth them just take them time and go through them transition and do what they want to do. Because I see some whole heap of things that go on, you know. And I will tell you them you now. Martina. Remember some of us about my look. And I see them put out a thing where say the youth them say them don't longer. Big congratulations, you see it? Man say him get him first born. A man you born and that took time to know. Big up yourself. It's a great joy for when you get your youth. It's a great joy. Oh, what a joy. See? So, the youth, they must say, them don't believe in a guidance counselors anymore. Remember say, a guidance counselor in our school, would have be a person where you could have got to go talk to when time things not right with you. Guidance counts that counts the true depression, counts the true anxiety, counts the true any little thing where you have got to. Because I realize that most of the youth are afraid to talk to them parents because them parents busy in a be a mix up. The them parents busy have to worry about man and not worry about girl and not worry about them youth. Enough of the father them and enough of the mother them. The mother them are going to get enough of the blame them because enough of the father them gone about them business. See? Enough of the father them gone about them business by. I don't want to say the father. Some of them are wicked. You see me? So the mother always go there. But the mother find too much time for everybody else and not enough time for the youth. Enough time the youth them are going through some things and they can't go to them parents because sometimes the problem with them have is them parents. The parents now have time to listen to them. The parents now have time to sit down and hold a reason with them. But anytime the youth them want reason with them, them have time for you to talk to Bev, them have time for you to talk to Pam, them have time for you to talk to Jill, them have time for you to talk to Jack. How was them they on phone? And the youth want reason with them. They must sit down with the youth them. See? Because remember, you, know, you have to take a day out of the week for you and the youth them sit down and reason and you ask them who are going on with the youth them get like recap what are going on. Recap with them and say, come in, make a reason what are going on at school this week. What are going on? Oh, everything. Ray, ray, blah, 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 blah. You have to sit down with the youth them and have time for them. Because remember, you know, a year pick me them, you know. A year seed them, you know. A year juice them, you know. So when them go to are supposed to have you as them shield because not because they provide a roof over the youth they made and you give them everything. You feel like so that is all. You give them everything but you don't give them your time. Your time where you spend with your children them is very precious. And no you no, now go understand because you not too busy to worry about everybody else's life. You don't on every life we mix up there. You know, they on every phone call we mix up a chat and you know, see what go on in our own child life. You know, people have problems, you don't have afraid to come to you. You know, you go to school and attack all kind of things because you them want an escape plan. The you them want an escape plan, that's why you don't know, live in a thing. Because last week, a little nine year old in himself, you know, in a Jamaica, you know, last week, a nine year old boy in himself. And me I try to find out why this little nine year old would hang himself. Them say, him gets cold. Either him grandmother or him mother scold him. And him just go kill himself. So at a nine year old, you feel just a sit down and a worry about 
you want to learn to swim, or you want to play a tablet, and you want to just get big and become a doctor, a lawyer, things like that. You are sit down and pray to kill yourself like something wrong. See? And most of it, no care, because it's not our child. So, like why you don't care because it's not your child? Do me a favor. Please, to make it your point of duty to listen to your child, revisit the things them where the child not like, find out where I go on to school, find out child will have one and one and go up and I'm, I, 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 I'm try to do some mental therapy with the youth. The patience we have to have with the youth, where you did have like when the youth was four and five, and three and two and one and six months, and you just be a demand, love him and go on, try find back the root there before it's too late. Because one not understand, say, nine year old kids, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and nine year old kids now is a totally different kettle of fish. When me was nine, me never did a pre for have sex. When me was nine, me never did a pre say, I want go do this or I want go do that. Me did a pre for just go ramp and duck up my clothes and come eat little food and then go ramp again. And go out with all kind of things. And just know say, yo, because when we did younger, you know, as little boy, when we did younger, we used to have play and run up and down be a kick all stone. See the principal, I tell you. I'm a principal, and you see the impact of the children who's those, who the parents are not in their life. And a real thing. See? So now, the kids, them what we are dealing with now. The nine year old, them, and the ten year old, them, and the twelve year old, them. And man, they pan them made down scamming and gunman and Barbie. And remember, so when we did look at we are here about Barbie. I just say, look at Dolly, I'm a Barbie girl in her Barbie world. Them look up there and I deal with that. I fully Dolly down them I deal with now. Because guess what? Them parents allow them to say them are say them are Dolly. Say them are Dolly. Them parents now sit down and tell them, say you're a princess. Just because some girl on the internet say them are Dolly and, you, and the mama say she a Dolly, she want the picnic be a Dolly. She now remind the child, say you're a princess. No found the mama. Only not even know, say. One of the teach the youth them how to sit properly. Not for one of mama. Because that is not a father's duty, you know, or duty, you know. To teach a girl child how to sit and sit properly. Me learn that when I go link one girl one day. And Peely sit down. And when Peely sit down, she said, That's not the proper way to sit. And I watch her how she make Peely sit down and fold her legs certain way. I remember I said, it did marvel me. I mean, I said, I never know this, you know. Me as a man, I said, I never know this, because I know me if you know. But I know, I'm glad to say, I know so I can teach it to somebody else. You understand? A market woman sit down and spread out so. Sight? But the little child supposed to sit with her legs closed. Whether she have a skirt or tights or whatever, she's supposed to sit down like a lady. You understand? Nisha, how much far do you think know that when me just say a while ago? Not many. That's why I say it is new to me. Because I know we them teach that so we sit, learn to sit properly. They don't teach man that. That's why every day you get up, you learn something. So you learn as you grow. That's why I say, nowadays, no, I never have to know. I am a single father. I never have to know. Here, yeah, a girl has said common sense. Oh, that was common sense now. I wear frack. I don't wear frack. Certain things. Where a man know, remember said them say man for the work and provide. 
man for go work and provide man for be a provider while the woman stay in the house and the woman for wash cook and clean she for press and she for do the whole of them something there You understand? But again, no found in our understanding. I say, I a common sense that, well, that was the common sense to me. That was a common sense to me because I didn't know that. I mean, I talked to last night, I know it, I know a good while now. But remember what we was taught. We were taught that the lady must stay in the house. A mother must stay in the house and the father go work and bring money come and take care of the family. That is what I was taught. That's how we learn it. So the older we get, we act different and we do different things. So now, just like oh, one time, a sanitary napkin, a man would have never, ever go buy it at a shop because them say a mama man buy them thing there. Remember, you know, no found a woman with on social media. I mean like all the conversation and the topic come up because we can talk with how we feel. See? A man would never buy a sanitary napkin one time. See? A man would never buy a, 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 a sanitary napkin one time. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. Because them say a disrespect. Man not to buy that. Mama man business that. And remember say so we grow. We were taught that way. So we not to buy that. But now we don't get big and ton man. How the hell? You have to hide from go buy a sanitary napkin and make people see you buy that. Like, how oh, you finna you know, you know, you know make people see you? That is, that is growth of being a man and a responsible man. Just like how oh, you have some man who say, when him woman up on her cycle, him don't want to see her. Remember, say, from a little way I hear them something there, you know. From a little way I hear them something there. If a woman is on her cycle, she will stay far and don't come near the man. Because of that we hear. See? And that we hear, you know. But when you get big, again, so I tell, I tell you, say, um, Kayana, Understand where me I come from. Me must say you have a whole heap man very ignorant, you know. You say you would have buy your own and make sure you have enough. But remember, it's not everybody can afford to have enough. And remember, say a woman can have and she run out and she forgot. You understand? Remember, say a modern time now. But even though a modern time, people do like them we have two or three sanitary napkin left so them no run out yet so them want you to buy back a pack you understand so these are things we may actually say we have to understand but enough people just are use ignorance and, a, and, a, and, a, and a make it look like because remember say nobody not perfect people do run out of these things then people don't run out of toilet tissue in them yard just like a sanitary napkin people do run out of toilet tissue Here they, I used to see my mom at the bottom of the bed and my dad at the, <laughs> at the top when the lady from Red Hills visit. You understand? But again, think about it. If you go to a restaurant, woman in the restaurant are selling all of them something, how do you know if the woman sister come visit her? And I like it present on her forehead. You can't know this. You don't know. That's why I say some man just ignorant. People have them cook shop or people have the restaurant or them lock down the restaurant. See? So that's them thing that I have said to you. See? So, alright. Kali say it's a Jamaican culture we were taught. And so, me, me glad that I have the uncle man who realized them something. Day. So things and time change now. See? Alright. Come on to the youth. Them, you, know. you are a single father. Because I and a barber mash up over this already, you know. Me and my reason. And we are talking about 
you know, sanitary napkin and woman and them time of the month. Him say, you know, I see that woman when I time of the month. And so I say, he's a father and you have a daughter. When your daughter time of the month come, how that work? When your daughter time of the month come, him say, him send her her mother. Suppose she not have no mother. Suppose her mother run away gone. What you going to do? Him can't give me an answer. What you going to do? Call your neighbor to come, come know your daughter business. Eh? That is what you gotta do. Call your neighbor. Then pose your neighbor not talk. Put your neighbor not there nowhere. Just, you know, you and your daughter did it. So, can I remember again, you know, certain things were not taught. Because I don't know about none of them something where all women put on these things. I don't know about none of them something there, you know. Richie, good morning. Take care, of your, take care of your health. I couldn't imagine nothing happening to you. Your spirit is so friendly and kind. Thank you, Kenja. I try my best to take care of myself. I try. I try. You understand? Yeah, so, again, somehow, no. Ignorant and somehow not there with some boy boy, only not there with no, not only not there with man. While some man does have this boy mentality and think some wrong way, and you see me, but we have to make sure members say the youth them come first. Certain things a mother can't teach a son. All right, we touch on the topic of sex, right? You have your daughter, can remember them say certain things you're supposed to know. How is it? How can a man go to his daughter and teach her about sex? How 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 we have to go to your daughter and teach her about sex? Remember, say a father supposed to hold him son and say, "Come here. We know you have sex. You're supposed to pinch, leave an inch and roll and all of them something. They pinch, leave an inch, roll. You have to tell your son how to put on condom. How you have to tell her? Where you have to go to your daughter and say, as a man." We are going to go to your daughter and say, How that conversation there going to go? Because nowadays, remember them now ask, like how we never did ask for your opportunity and say, We are going to wait till marriage for have sex and them something. As them youth get a slight chance, remember, them are going and go do it. And whatever happened, we are not see we are going to Jamaica. You don't see how much like a 10, 11, and 12 year old pregnant out there. You don't see a year with them something they are going. Graham, you have to tell your daughter to abstain, and that is the right word for say. Uh, abstinence are the best thing that them say. Watch my father upon the live. Where are you upon my life? Where are you watching my life? God no that money. You have follow up my life. Where you do? Tell people say me your son. Tell you tell people say I'm a son. Yo, God no. My father, where you do? No, you are doing. No, you are doing my father. And I watch my business, you know. Yeah, people big up my father upon the life. Him the boat. I remember, you know. For sure you all the household. Unstable nowadays. We have to tell them that don't have sex. <laughs> I just them two words they alone. We have to sit down and tell them abstain and don't have sex. <laughs> I understand you have to teach <laughs> teach us on them especially. <laughs> teach us on them. When they meet a female, ask her if she was born a female, things and time change. <laughs> well, you have, you have a point right there, so. You have a point right there, so. Then she not can lie. She can't tell lie. See, the things them, we are going in our world now, I believe you must be more open with your kids them no more than ever be be more personal 
Jamaican term raw because them are hear the rawness out the road and you are sugar coated so big and serious them are laugh off of you as the parent and I say I want to mommy how would daddy come to me and tell me about daddy feel like me an idiot remember say no you cannot go go tell a child say babies drop from sky those days are over you can't tell the youth them them thing there again because we have seen so much things on the media now and them have put it in a cartoon and I put it in a everywhere you have to know where you are though you have to sit down and, 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 and ready to be more open with the youth them because you are now a delusion and not found to be a delusion you know that's when the youth afraid to come to you to come ask you about sex when the youth afraid, when the can't make the youth afraid to come to you Concentrity is important as a Jamaican man especially especially Aaron can be a bit rough when looking woman and asking for sex Consent so no, so there is no misunderstanding and I understand that and you are right You are very right See, but again, them conversation where enough people don't want to have because everybody still at that, but them little princess and them little princess. Remember, say the little princess I grow, she won't be a princess or a little girl much longer. So we have to try to sit down with the youth them and tell them to try enjoy your childhood. Enjoy. Stop rush. Forget do adult stuff. Because when you start the adult stuff, adult stuff come with a lot of responsibility and tell them how it work when it come on to listening, listening these crazy times and days, it's actually being taught in school how to be gay, literally it makes me feel so sick. So you really have to teach your all children the right thing. Definitely. Sophie. Definitely, because guess what? They might go out the road and they might teach them some different things and them not for them parents that try to sugarcoat it. And I tell you now the next thing. I tell you now the next thing. Enough of the parents they might do. And they might do the wrong thing. They might force the children them in a Christianity. The AJW.